As we watch the sunrise over the Wind River Mountains here, it's kind of pretty, isn't it? thought I would just share a brief parable with you, a little make-up story here that might get a point across. I was driving along once, and I saw some smoke coming out of the window of a house, and I drove in the driveway quickly, jumped out, ran over, and I looked in, and there was a man in a wheelchair, and he was just kind of, he had a cup of coffee or something in his in his hand, and he was dipping a teaspoon into it and flicking it at these flames, and the flames are getting bigger and bigger, and I said, hey, guy, can I help get you and your family out of the house? And he said, oh, it's just me in here. It's my house, and I'm not that worried about the fire. I, I think I'll be able to put it out. And I said, well, I, I don't think you can. I'd really like to help you. And I kind of, he says, no, I, I'll be okay. And, and so I, I step inside, and I say, hey, you know, I don't mean to get in your business, but this is pretty serious stuff. I strongly suggest you let me help you get out of here. Oh, no, no, we'll be okay, he says. And and I said, well, you know, I'm obviously morally, I can't initiate force or violence. I can't grab you and take you out of here, even if I think it's for your own good. That's not morally okay. So I don't know what to do. I just I don't want you to burn to death in here. He says, oh, I read books about this. It's just an isolated fire. It's not a big deal. I'll, I'll stay here. I'm, I'm good. Thanks for caring, but I'm good. And I said, hey, guy, it's starting to get hot in here, and the smoke is choking me. I've got to get out. And I, I have only another few seconds here that I could also get you out. May I please help get you out of this burning house? Oh, no, it's okay. The house isn't burning down. It's going to be fine. And I said, well, I, I, and I'm dropping down to my knees to get the, into a little less smoke. Please let me take you out of here. I've got to go now. And he said, oh, go on, go on. I'm good. Thanks for offering, but you can go. And so I, I had to leave the house, and I got outside, and I'm I'm trying I'm turning the garden hose on, I'm trying to put the house out, to put the fire out from the outside. It's not helping. It's the thing's engulfed, and now I hear the guy, and he's saying, "Hey, Shepherd, I, I changed my mind. Please come in and save me. The house is just burning down. In fact, well, at this point, the whole thing is engulfed. The the roof is collapsing. I, I can't I can't go in and, and kill myself at this point." And that was very sad to me, because I really wish that I could have gotten him to believe me and listen to me in the first place. And it's very saddening when one believes that the house is burning down, and they try to warn strangers and family and friends, and nobody will believe that the house is burning down.